I got these new ceramic bits for my nail drill uh, after so many of you recommended that I use them to take my cuticles down. And I want to say thank you because they are awesome. I know I told you that I didn't record any of my previous manicure from a couple weeks ago, but I just found this footage and I, I did actually test out these ceramic bits on camera before doing the rest of my manicure without the camera. So here's how they work. And I have to say, I'm incredibly impressed. I have tried the meta the metal bits that came with the nail drill and also sandpaper bits and neither of them did really well and I was afraid to use the new diamond bit that I got for fear that it would damage my natural nails but so many people especially nail techs here in the comments said you've got to try ceramic bits they don't damage the natural nail if it's like a fine uh, grit and they'll take the cuticles right down and sure enough they did an amazing job this is how I will do my cuticles from now on forever so I really appreciate you guys and all of your knowledge and information and sharing and trying to help me out my cuticles grow super super thick just like the keratoderma callus on my hands um, and my nails also grow really fast so about every two weeks I've got to redo my nails and this is how much growth I have in just two weeks. I mean, this is about a quarter inch. Maybe it's like three sixteenths, but it's really close to a quarter inch of growth and quite long and very thick. In the past, I've used cuticle oil or just soaking in water and then pushing back with a cuticle pusher and clipping with the hangnail clippers or with cuticle scissors, but I find that to be really tedious. It doesn't quite get the job done very quickly, and um, it also is really uncomfortable to clip the cuticles that close because it's very possible to go too low. So this is an amazing solution, and I have to say it also didn't do any damage to my natural nail below. It just took the cuticle off. Easy peasy. I love it. And then after I used this, um, I forget what it's called, like a cone tip, I switched over to a really fine detailing edge clip that's also a fine grit and um, did even more of the edges. It took me a while to realize that like to get the effect I wanted on the edges, I had to rotate the direction of rotation. I had to switch the direction of rotation um, for each different side of my nail. So in the future, I'll do like all of the one side of my nail one direction and then go back and start over and do all the other side of the nails the other direction because it's kind of annoying to flip between rotational directions on my drill. But um did a great job. And to be honest, something I didn't film was after I did this, instead of coming in and like clipping up the, the little details with some clippers, I actually came back in and did more with this tip. And I went a little too deep. I, I can't believe how much it takes off, but I actually like made my cuticles feel a bit raw on the edges in a couple places where I just kept going, but I don't have that on camera. So I'm just telling you about it. So user beware, <laughs> but this worked out so great. And I'm just really, really impressed. It's basically almost time for me to do my nails again and I will film part or all of that process again to show you but I thought I'd keep you updated on what happened last time with these bits and say thank you so much to all the nail techs out there watching my channel and giving me great feedback because I'm using it thank you